So what does this have to do with magnetic fields? Okay, so here is a charged particle. It seems to be red, so it must be positively charged. It's moving in the plus x direction. And we're going to look. Do you want it in stereo? We can make it in stereo. Sure, we'll do it in stereo. So moving along the x-axis, this is a, it would appear to be a positive charge. And let's, we have to pick an observation location. So there's the r vector. That's going to be our observation location on the plus y axis. Let's let it move. We'll watch what direction the magnetic field is in, and then we'll figure out what cross product we need to do to make this work. Okay, so here it goes. It's moving here. Not much for a while, and then we get a magnetic field. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Plus z direction. Okay, so uh, we can do it. Can we do it again? Sure, we'll do it again. Uh, okay, so. Now think about, we have the V vector and we've got the R hat vector. I'm showing R, not, okay, but, so think about what direction the magnetic field at the observation location is. What cross product do we use to get that direction? <laughs> All right, what was the cross product? Is it, is it V cross R? Or is it R cross V? Okay, we had, we're here, we had V and R hat was that way. So V cross R gave a magnetic field in the plus Z direction, which is what you saw, right? But R cross V would give a magnetic field in the minus Z direction. That's not what you saw. So it looks like we got a V cross R. Okay, let's predict what it's going to be at another observation location. So an observation location on the Z axis. Okay, get out your right hand. We're going to do V cross R. V is still on the x-axis. And what point in the direction you expect the magnetic field to be going at that observation location? Where's everybody's thumb should be pointing. Uh-oh, we got thumbs up and thumbs down and thumbs to the right. So V is in the plus x direction. So I've got, I got V, I got V in the plus x direction. R is there, so this is theta in the xz plane. And I can't rotate my fingers this way, so I better turn my wrist over so I can go V cross R. Thumb goes down, so I predict a magnetic field in the minus y direction. Let's see if it's right. <laughs> All right. Okay, that looks right. Okay, this is the next observation location. What's the direction of the magnetic field on the minus y axis going to be? Okay, what do we get? Negative z, let's see. Yep, negative z. Okay, well, for completeness, we'll do the observation location on the negative z-axis. Which way is the magnetic field going to go? Up. Okay, up. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Now, there is another case, however, that we need to think about, which is what if it's an electron instead of uh, a positive charge? So I'm going to change the sign of the charge to be negative. Now we've got an electron here. And we're going to look at first at that observation location on the, OK, what do you think is going to happen? If it was a proton, what would the direction of the magnetic field be? Oh. It would be out. What do you think is going to happen if we flip the sign of the charge? It'll probably go in, won't it? Let's see. So let's do it. Yep. 
So it depends on V cross R, and it also depends on the sign of the charge. So here's the negative charge at a location on that axis. What's the direction of the magnetic field going to be? V cross R. Going to be up, positive Y, isn't it? So let's see. Yep. Okay, so that's, that's the basic scheme. And we can put this together. Sorry, now you really have to come back to the world for a second here. Flat 2D world. Magnetic field, for some reason, is symbolized by B. And the formula for the magnetic field at some location R of a moving charged particle, we decided it had a V, it's actually typically written as V cross R hat. We decided the charge mattered, so there's a Q here, which could be a plus or a minus number. Not surprisingly, it falls off like 1 over R squared, so there's a magnitude of R squared. And then there's a constant which turns out to be called mu 0 over 4 pi in SI units. This thing has the value of exactly 1 times 10 to the minus 7. And the units of magnetic field are Tesla. And so the units of that constant are going to be um, tesla meters per coulomb per second. <laughs> um, and that gives us the magnetic field due to a moving charged particle at some, some location. You can get the direction. Now, the key part for getting the direction, everything matters for the magnitude, but for the direction, the first thing you do is you do V cross R hat, right hand. And then the second thing you do, exactly what you were just doing a minute ago, you say, what's the sign of the charge? If it's positive, it's in the direction of V cross R hat. If the charge is negative, I have to flip it. And that's basically all there is to it. <coughs> 